Hi, uh, Bini here again, 6th of October. Today we are looking at silver, XAGUSD. I'm just going to talk about how to use the Tor Alert, alright? Uh, if you subscribe to the Telegram signal, you're going to receive the Tor Alerts every day. Uh, there's a long list, alright? But, uh, you know, it, it's going to shortcut a lot of uh, searching for you. So, uh, what I do is that every morning when I'm free, I just browse through the alerts and then uh, browse the chart. So, silver came in a little bit more interesting. Uh, that's why I'm going to talk about it, alright? So, let's take a look at the disclaimer before I proceed with the recording. Alright, uh, this is a chart on silver. So, that's the... Uh, thick, alright. So this is the alert in the day chart. Right. If you can do an overall inspection on a chart, alright, indeed that the bigger time frame is showing an uptrend. Uh, but in the nearer uh, time frame, we are still looking at very much a downtrend here. High, low, lower high, lower low, and a lower high, uh, potentially. Right. Uh, there was a bullish tall, but uh, remember, uh, this bullish signal did not change the structure. What do I mean by it didn't change the structure? Price is still very much being resisted at the uh, previous high. Uh, price is still uh, resisted by the whole zone of a uh, support that turns into a resistance here. Okay. So there will be two... two um, Things for us to do number one if you can see what's being mapped in the tall here you can see the blue lines right that's the breakout line uh, there will be only a bearish wash and rinse all right uh, if price is to close below the blue line here okay uh, so this is the level that we need to take note of right if you were to flip that into a h4 time frame then uh, you will see the green line being plotted here so the green is to sell the buy uh, you know, the, the buy will be to look at the magenta line. Okay, so we are waiting for a failure here. Alright, and what's the failure we are looking at? Uh, we need to wait for price to close below the day wash. Okay, and for price to close below the first opening bar low. Okay, so that's the two signal that we are uh, looking at uh, in terms of the H4 price structure. So this is a typical downflow. Alright, downflow, one, two, three, four. Okay, so um, that's the uh, pattern that we are looking at. Okay, uh, just to double check with the MACD price at about the same high, um, the uh, MACD indicator is actually uh, showing a bearish divergence. Okay, all right, so that's all for today. Hi, good afternoon, it's Beanie here. Today it's um, 7th of October. Alright, uh, the first thing I like to do is, uh, in this video, I like to update a little bit about silver. Uh, yesterday, I recorded a video on silver and uh, how to use the Telegram uh, alerts to highlight uh, on a possible trade. Um, silver alert was pointing to a buy uh, in yesterday, but we used that to our favor and uh, in fact that we used that to uh, do a shot. All right, uh, let me just review in, in, into this trade and we will talk about uh, what next, okay, especially on how to manage all right, your winning trade. Okay, let me just flash the uh, disclaimer for a while. Okay, now, um, this is the um, chart on silver. So what we had was that we had a sell. All right, um, at this bar here, which uh, was around, let me just find the arrow, which was about um, 20, 20, 24, all right, so we had a sell about 24.10, okay, so that's the uh, sell bar that we had, all right, um, price moved all the way down until 23 low, okay, so that's a very nice move, all right, I, I think it moved um, to low about 20. 285 okay plus minus around that All right so that's a very nice um dollar move a one dollar move in silver and that's really um a good profit to look at okay the question will be uh right now what what are you going to do with your winning trade are you going to take profit all right and should there be um, you know another wave to move down or how should you shift a stop loss etc so I'm just going to talk about how to manage this winning trade should you like to hold on and how do you know uh, when you can add on to your winning position. Okay, so that's where the 
tall line, um, the magenta and the green line, uh, they are very important. So right now, all right, uh, silver will present a bullish scenario if price is to close above the magenta level here, which is uh, 2367, uh, all right. Therefore, stop loss will be above it, okay. By shifting the stop loss above the magenta level, your trade would be a break-even trade. In fact, it's a winning trade. It's a profit trade already. So this is a free trade. Um, we are looking to add in more position if price can further break into a lower level. All right. So um, in terms of the final target that um, I'm hoping for, all right, would be the recent low of silver here. In fact, um, the whole uh, junction here uh, about silver uh, on uh, around the 2220 level. All right, so that's the um, 2220 level that um, I'm looking at for uh, at least um, a nice neat profit into this trade here. Okay, um, in terms of pattern, we can see a very nice um, wash and rinse pattern here. Okay, so that gave a very nice shot yesterday. Okay, uh, in fact, there one of the trade that I pointed out earlier, which was um, go. All right, on this particular resistance, all right, go had a close. All right, had a had a bearish tall signal already. It had a close below critical level. Uh, you would have um already pump in some shot here earlier. All right. Um, again, question would be. Uh, where are where are you gonna shift a stop loss? Okay, same thing. We have the match under level coming up, so that's the eighteen, eighty seven level. All right, so the stop loss would be somewhere above it. All right. Uh, again, that if you put a stop loss there, your trade would be a free trade. Right, that would be a profit trade, and we are looking at a close below the eighteen seventy five. All right, for re short, that means a re entry, uh, into your existing winning position. All right, so that's gold and silver, uh, for you.